Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to start monitoring a website URL in Nagios XI using a configuration wizard. You can access config wizards from the Start Monitoring dashboard, or you can head up to the primary menu, hover over Configure, and select Configuration Wizards. It's important to mention that once you begin monitoring our first host, you'll see the result in your host status summary and service status summary, but we'll check back on that in a few minutes. On the Configuration Wizards page, you'll see a wealth of wizards that will simplify the process of monitoring anything from a mail server to a switch to a website. You can browse through all the wizards easily on this page by selecting the icons near the search bar. To demonstrate how easy it is to get monitoring using a configuration wizard, let's select the website URL config wizard. Let's monitor nagios.com and click Next. You can change the host name to something like Nagios Com Site. Of course, if this is a different website you'd like to monitor, you can change the host name to what makes the most sense to you, or you can leave it as the default. We'll see the host name in our status summary in a minute. Should you be monitoring different URLs with the same prefix, you can change that here, but we don't need to do that for our purposes, and the IP address should pull automatically. Under URL options, you can monitor the SSL HTTPS. You can also change the port number to contact the website or the authentication credentials should you need them. Finally, you'll also leave the URL services as default. If you have a specific string you'd like to look at or want to make sure a specified regular expression is found, you can add those here. Since you are leaving them as default, you'll click Next. Once you've done that, you only have one step left to go and that's to decide how often you will run checks. The default is to check every five minutes, but if we want to check it more often, you can select every minute, or less often, every 60 minutes. Put it back to the default of five minutes. Please note that once a problem is identified, the default check will run every single minute. If the host isn't up for five minutes straight, you'll receive an alert. So now click Finish. As you can see, the configuration is loading up, and the configuration has been applied successfully. Now that you see it's been successful, how do you find this host? Head over to the Home dashboard. As I mentioned before, if you navigate to the host status summary, you'll see that we're now monitoring the nagios.com site and it's up and running. You're encouraged to check out other wizards in the Config Wizards page, as it will help you get monitoring easily. Should any of these steps seem too confusing, no worries it's recommended you sign up for one of our webinars on the Home Dashboard. One of our talented sales ninjas will walk you through the Nagios XI best practices. Again, if you'd like to work one-on-one -on -one with our knowledgeable support techs, you can request a demo here. With all the capabilities and limitless options of Nagios XI, we're sure you'll enjoy the ease and confidence of monitoring your IT infrastructure. Thanks for watching and keep watching for more tips from Nagios.